I'm gonna go from this last screw I made all the way up, and I have this little jig I made right here. This jig uses three quarter inch spacing for a punch of holes measuring about 24 inches. I also marked spots like this over here where it says 12 inches and six inches. I only need a few to get it all aligned and then I can go back and drill the actual three quarter inch holes. For this, I'm not sure if I wanna use some furniture tacks to give it a fake rivet look or if I wanna use screws for functionality or if I wanna use pop rivets. So I'm gonna just do every six inches and do whatever with these. This side is a little tricky, not gonna lie. I don't really know how I'm gonna do it. So right here, I drilled holes that were a little wider than 1 8th of an inch so they didn't work out well with the Clecos. I only got one of the Clecos to fit because the other ones were the other holes were too wide. But I just drilled some 1/8 inch holes for my 1/8 inch Clecos and they fit fantastically. This is what I wanted to have because you can put in the Clecos temporarily and then have them actually hold up. This is basically a temporary screw, uh, so it won't strip out the wood as unscrewing and screwing does. So yeah, that's something super fun. It's not necessary, and I know that, I, I know, but I really like Clecos now. So this is a little bit of the techniques I've been using in the past to get the shell to kind of fit to the simulator. This was one of the challenges I put on upon myself. I know I didn't need this part of the simulator, but this part of the simulator is sure a heck of a lot of fun to get to learn how to build. It's been pushing me to uh, grow, which is something I'm, I've really been enjoying, and it's not an easy problem to solve, which is something I both love and something I don't really like, which is kind of funny. Thank you all everyone for watching and have an excellent Cessna 170 Tuesday.